Hey guys, Angry Monkey here with another Retro Game Treasure unboxing video. Uh, for those who have never watched one of my videos before and wondering what is Retro Game Treasure, as the name implies, it is a treasure box of retro games sent to your house every month, uh, ranging from many different consoles throughout the years, including, let's see, you got the Atari, uh, you got Nintendo systems all the way up through the Wii, so the NES, the Super Nintendo, the 64, the GameCube, and the Wii, uh, as well as the Game Boy line, so Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, um, and the DS. Uh, you also can get Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, uh, Sega CD, no Saturn, which is weird, but you can get Dreamcast, as well as Sega Game Gear, PlayStation 1, 2, and 3, uh, original Xbox, Xbox 360, I forgot about the portable PlayStation line, so you can get um, the PSP as well. So, um, a lot to choose from. And in case you're wondering, like, well, what kind of games do I get? That is entirely up to you, because you fill out a survey on their website where um, you, you fill out the types of games you like to play, the genres. So, uh, if you like racing games, then you check that one off. If you like the, the platformer games, you check that off. Um, but if you don't like a genre, then naturally don't check that off. So, like sports games. I don't have sports games selected, so I don't get sports games. So, it kind of works out that way. Um, they also have a list of shame of games that you will never get, so you don't have to worry about, like, Superman 64. Um, I mean, I kind of want it, just so that way I can show off one of the worst video games ever created, but at the same time, I don't really want that game at the same time. <laughs> um... The same with, uh, there, there's a bunch of other games that are like that too. Um, they also have um, a checklist of games that you already have, so that way you don't get duplicates. But you got to be careful on that, because I, I learned that the hard way a few times. Where you need to select multiple versions, like all the versions of that game, unless you want all those different versions of that game. So, um, Star Wars Battlefront, for example, I got it on PS2. So that I go ahead and check off that I have it on original Xbox because I already have the game. I don't need it on two different consoles. Also, on top of that, make sure you check off like greatest hits versus regular version, because just because you have the regular version doesn't mean that you won't get the greatest hits version unless you check that off. So a little bit of a heads up. Stuff I've learned because I've been I've been getting these boxes for like two and a half years now, something like that. You're in. Yeah, um, so yeah, anyway, just make sure you check off all versions of that game, so that way you don't get a, a different version of a game that you already have. So as I was saying, you get three to five games sent to your house every month. Uh, the price is, like, it's, it's $35, and they try to give you a $35 deal, so you might get some expensive games. If you get an expensive game, then your other games would be a little bit cheaper, but hopefully there's still stuff there that you'd enjoy. Um, they, they cater this box to what they think you might enjoy, which is pretty cool. Um, so, uh, oh, one more thing. Um, they also have a wish list feature. So if there's some games, like let's just say you recently got an NES and you want to build up some stuff for your NES library, and you're like, hey, I want, uh, I want Super Mario Brothers, and I want the original Legend of Zelda, stuff like that, go ahead and check those off. And who knows, you might get that in your box, we'll see. Um, but don't expect games like Nintendo World Championships 1990, which is worth like $15,000. Don't expect Earthbound, which is kind of going for two to $300 right now. Like, don't, don't expect, I mean, go ahead, put them on there if you want, but, um, don't be heartbroken if you don't get those, because some of those games are kind of rare. But, like, Super Mario World, sure, yeah, no problem, we can put that in your box. So, yeah, that's how it works. So, um... I've been talking for a while now, so as always, let's open our box. I'm going to pull this out of frame so that way you don't see my address. I like you guys, but um, you don't need to know where I live. And using my very dull blade, there we go. There we go. And as always, I'm going to turn this around. Oh, I guess I should zoom out too. There we go. So yeah, I'm going to turn this around so that way we don't get spoilers of all the games in the box. And first up, we have our, as always, our discount air pillows where the pillows are inflated, not the prices. I have to say that every time. It's a running joke. 
Looks like somebody slashed this little bubble here. Poor little bubble. It's okay. You'll have a long, nice nap in the trash can. Okay. Uh, this feels like a gameplay color game, which is Army Men Air Combat. Made by 3DO. I have a couple of the Army Men games. Uh, I have um, one on the PlayStation. Was there only one on the PlayStation? Was there two? Maybe I only have one. But um, this might have been a wishlist item. I'm not sure. So that is our first item. And then next... Wolfenstein The New Order. Okay, I know I have some Wolfenstein games. I just want to check real quick. Okay, I got the first of the Wolfenstein, like, uh, on PS3. Yeah, so I got... I got that one. So, okay, I wanted to make sure that wasn't a duplicate. Because I'm a little paranoid of duplicates, because... Uh, that's happened before. Anyway, this also might have been a wishlist item. So, uh, I don't know. This, Who knows? Um, this one's probably the wishlist item, but um, the Army Men games are fun. So, I don't know. Um, this one I can see on when this one came out. So, that's the, the back of that one. And this one... Oh, made by Bethesda. Uh, this one came out in 2014. Bethesda, as you guys, just in case you don't know, like um, Elder Scrolls, so Skyrim and all that, uh, that's Bethesda. The Fallout, like Fallout 3, Fallout 4, it's also Bethesda. And this last one, i got to flip upside down because the last one always gets stuck. Okay, it is an Xbox or an Xbox 360. All right. Street Racing Syndicate with a attractive woman on the front. This game came out in 2004. Got to fix that. The sleeve was a uh, little paper was slipping out of the sleeve a little bit. So, yeah, that was what I got in this box. And that's what the box itself looks like. Let me put that in focus a little bit. So, um I like the layout of the box. You got you got a nice little inside of the box. You get the heart piece. You got a little star made from Mario, a Zelda key. You got a rupee and a Tetris piece, stuff like that. And uh, they're talking about the boss chest giveaway, which uh, you basically post your picture on their Facebook page, and you are entered into a contest where you might win a console for your personal collection. Um, I remember the first box that I got, I entered because the prize was a Sega Master System, which I don't have, still don't have. Almost got one, unfortunately, didn't get it. Yeah, long story short, um, I walked into a new game store, I'm like, hey, cool, that's a Sega Master System, can we try to see if it works? They're like, yeah. Um, so we plug it in, wasn't able to get a picture on the TV, and I asked them, I said, do you guys smell something burning? It's like a burning plastic smell, and they're like, oh. So we looked at it, and it wasn't an official Sega cable, which if you get the off-brand cables, um, the systems might fry. And uh, that's what happened with this one. They offered to fix it, and I said, yeah, if you're able to fix it, let me know. I'm, I'm willing to buy it. They never called me back, so I guess they couldn't fix it, which is unfortunate because I could have gotten that system for $75 when everybody else is selling it for like $125, so really good deal. So heartbroken, I couldn't get it. Um, I remember another Boss Just Giveaway uh, prize was a ritual PlayStation. So that could have been something to add to your collection as well. Um, so yeah, uh, pretty cool stuff like that. Um, and yeah, I, I think this was a good box. I definitely enjoyed this box more than uh, last month's box. Last month's I thought was a little disappointing, although I did get Mario Kart DS, which was definitely the highlight of that box. But I think I got some pretty good games here. Like I said, Wolfenstein the New Order, Armin, Air Combat, and Street Racing Syndicate. Looks like a good racing game. I like racing games sometimes. And uh, if any of these games interest you, let me know. And I'll put them in the video game request list. And 
maybe someday play one on the channel for you. Uh, I am almost caught up with all my video game backlog. I didn't upload anything for about a month because I was just busy with life. But uh, yesterday, I uploaded the first episode of Dokupon Kingdom, which I've been kind of holding on that one for a while. Um, but we started recording that game like four years ago. Uh, we're nowhere near close to finishing, but um, we got we got quite a few episodes for you guys, so that'll keep you guys entertained for a while. I'd say uh, maybe maybe like twenty episodes. Who knows? Um, it's kind of a long game, but yeah, we'll we'll see. Um, so yeah, stick around after this video um, and be on the lookout for Dokupon Kingdom episode two. Which, uh, for like inside jokes and part of my little, uh, my team, there's an inside joke of how Citrus gets the name Fruit. Um, so basically, I had things set up, because me and him were going to record a little bit more of, I think it was Ocarina at time we were going to record. And he was running late this particular day for whatever reason. He slept in and was kind of being uh, a jerk about it. And um, meanwhile... Kaj and Phoenix were going to come later in the day, and the four of us were going to record something. Well, unfortunately, Citrus was late, and so Kaj and Phoenix got here before him, and I'm like, well, I guess we're not recording Zelda, because the other half of the duo that was recording Zelda is not here, so we had to wait for him to get here, and meanwhile, we're just calling him Mr. Fruit the whole time, because, like, oh, geez, Mr. Fruit's late again. Um, so that's where that name comes from, so... Um, kind of a spoiler, kind of a teaser for Dokupon Episode 2, so if that interests you, stay tuned, and, uh, that will be up shortly after this video. Um, but that's not all my announcements. As always, make sure to like and subscribe, and, uh, hit that bell so that way you're notified when Dokupon comes up, if you're not watching, or not paying attention. And that way you'll also be notified when other videos come out, maybe one of those games that you requested. Yeah, um, you gotta hit that bell to find out, or just keep checking, but who wants to do that? You wanna just know, because we're all lazy people. At least I am. I'm very lazy. Um, also, don't forget about the uh, Angry Monkey Facebook page. Okay, I still have a few minutes left. Yeah, the Angry Monkey Facebook page, the link is in the description below. Um, I'm a couple episodes behind on uploading. Uh, where I just kind of forget that I have a Facebook thing, mostly because I only have one follower, and, like, that's it uh, on there. But um, I do post on the Discord regularly. As soon as it up uploads, um, I post it in the Discord as well. And um, so that way, those that are following me on Discord are like, cool, I can watch it immediately. And um, speaking of Discord, just let me know if you want to join the Discord. Um, it's kind of an open format right now where I'm just kind of accepting people um just yeah I mean I know last year I planned on having like a paid thing like oh yeah pay to join my discord but I'm like eh it's such a small community I want to just get people in first so I don't know if the payment thing's going to happen just just join the discord have fun uh in a nerdy community where we talk about anime and video games and pokemon and whatever else we feel like talking about um there's been a lot of great memes lately, so if you enjoy memes, we have a full channel full of uh, memes on my Discord. So if that interests you, definitely check that out. We can laugh at a bunch of memes that we share. Um, and, uh, yeah, I guess that's all I really have to say. Um, like I said, like, subscribe, join the Facebook. Uh, all you need to do for Discord is just say, I want to join your Discord, and I'll send you an invite. That's all there is to that. So I guess that's really all I have to say. So um, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.